Hi guys, welcome to our tutorial today and we're going to be looking at the Mickey Makey. Um, we have all kinds of these at Bliss Carmen. We've got about 10 of these red boxes. Grab one, hook, up, hook it up to your computer. It's really cool. It's this small, simple circuit board. And what it is, it's an extension of your keyboard and your mouse. Anything that you do with your keyboard, let's say that you want to play Super Mario Brothers online, you can do that through the Makey Makey. But you don't actually have to use your fingers on this little board. You can hook it up to anything in the world that's conductive. Watermelons, forks, spoons, knives, it doesn't matter as long as it's metal, as long as it holds a current and allows electricity to flow through it, we can do it. Today what we are going to do is we are going to simulate how to create a piano using nothing more than a computer and this Makey Makey. Let's take a look at what we have in the box. We have the Makey Makey itself. We have our USB cable. This is just a normal uh, USB cable that you would see when you have your camera and you're hooking it up to import photos. We have the very important alligator clips. Now these alligator clips are what you're going to use to hook to your Makey Makey and then to your conductive substance. And then for the advanced users, we have some jumper cables. Alrighty, I'll take you through the setup of the Makey Makey. It couldn't be simpler. Um, on the top of the Makey Makey board, that's where you're going to plug in your USB. And then, of course, the other end of the USB can hook into any computer that we have. Our student laptops work really well for this purpose. There's no software that you have to install. It works straight out of the box, just like any keyboard or any mouse would. So we hook it into the Makey Makey, and then the other side of the USB cable goes into our computer, and you can tell that it's working when our Makey Makey starts to light up. On the back of our Makey Makey, if you're looking for a status LED, you can see it here, there's a small little red status LED that's going to remain illuminated, making sure that you have your power. Sometimes our student laptops may kick us out and disrupt the uh, connection between the Makey Makey and the laptop. Just make sure that you, re, uh, that you log back into your laptop to make it work again. Now, you're all set up to use the Makey Makey, straight out of the box, just like this. What is going to make it function is completing the circuit. So what's happening right now is the signal is coming out of our laptop, it's going into the PCP board, into the circuit board of the Makey Makey, and it's staying there. What we want to do is to complete that circuit. And we are going to take our fingers and touch the bottom row here, at the bottom of the board it says Earth, on the front of the Makey Makey, we call this the beginner sides. We have a quad pad directional arrows, okay, so just your up, down, left, and right. We have a space, and we have a click. For more advanced users, you might want to check out the back sides of the Makey Makey. This is an Arduino based product, not that you need to do any coding, but it allows you a little more functionality. You can see that we have W, A, S, D, F, and G on the left hand side of the board, and on the right hand side we have all of our mouse clicks and our mouse movements. So let's get into the fun stuff. Uh, for this tutorial today, I'm going to see if we can make a piano, alright? Just using random conductive objects from around this makerspace. Now that I know that my Makey Makey is all set up and ready to connect to my random household objects, I'm going to go ahead and find a purpose for this user interface, for the setup, on the internet. Um, some students in the past have created their own programs in Scratch you, uh, so that the Makey Makey can interface with them. Feel free to do that as long as your Scratch program requires the directional pad, a click, and a space. You can use the Makey Makey with it. So what I'm going to do is just in Google, I'm going to search Makey Makey Scratch Piano. And the very first result is what I'm going to want to use. Alright, so we're going to start off this Scratch program and see if we have our Makey Makey all set up and ready to go. So remember, we always have to hold the ground alligator clip and not the, uh, not the insulator portion, but the conductive metal portion. 
and we can hold and touch any of the other alligator clips and you can see we've got connection but I bet we can take this even further I wonder if we have some conductive products lying around the maker space that we can make our own piano let's take a look so we put together a very simple tin foil piano. As you can see, we've got the Makey Makey hooked up to just some regular dollar store tin foil, and we've loaded up the scratch program that I was talking about for the piano. So now, if I haven't already mentioned, uh, the science behind the Makey Makey is capacitive touch. So meaning, we are going to use the energy in our body to complete the circuit, and the fact that our body's conductive and the tin foil is conductive, and I have a ground setup, so on the bottom of the Makey Makey, the earth is connected to this ground over here. And I always have to have the ground connected to my body while I touch the other leads, and that's pretty cool. On the internet, you can also just Google Scratch Makey Makey Guitar or Drum Kits and you can also uh, play some musical instruments with anything that conducts electricity. Alright, let's try it with some fruit. The great thing about fruit is it's very high in water content and of course what that means is it conducts, what does it do? It conducts electricity really, really well. So for our keys for our drum pad, we're actually going to use a banana, an apple, and an orange. It will work with any vegetable or fruit. In fact, you should try other vegetables and fruits and to see how well it works. Messy. Why don't we grab the jumper cables out of the Makey Makey and all we have to do is just put it, put each jumper wire into the fruit. So we have all of our jumper cables in. For this program, we are just going to use the directional pad and the space button. So I'll hook up all of my directional pads to the fruit, and then we will be drumming. All right, another thing that you can do, instead of having a piece of fruit as the ground, I want to have both of my hands free because drumming needs a lot of movement and I don't want to be holding on to a ground at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I am going to ground myself by making myself this little wearable ground switch and hooking the ground onto the ring of tin foil just like that. And so now both of my hands are able to interact with the Makey Makey. So let's test it out. That's pretty neat. Alright, just to show off how versatile the Makey Makey is, we've hooked up our computer to the smart board. You can hook it up to a projector and project your favorite old school video game onto the biggest wall that you can find. I love playing Super Mario Brothers, and with the use of the Makey Makey, I'm going to get my hands wet, literally, and be able to move Mario simply by dunking my fingers into these uh, cups of water. Now imagine if we didn't use our fingers, but we wanted to use our feet. And well, we would have these big basins of water and we could literally jump into the basins of water in order to move Mario. Make sure you guys keep in mind, if you are doing one of these experiments with water, electricity, electronics, water, they don't really get along. It is fine to make sure that you, um, to use the water with the Makey Makey, just make sure that you're extra careful uh, and not knocking over the cups of water. All right, let's see if we can make Mario jump just by dipping our fingers into the water. Here we go. I've got ground. Look at that. Now, this is gonna be tough because I wanna jump and jump over the pipe. It might be messy too. Hey, oh! And just like that, if your game can end. And there we have it. We really hope that you enjoyed our first tutorial on how to use the Makey Makey. We are really excited to see what you guys come up with, with just using Makey Makey and any conductive parts that you can find around the school. Thank you.